guys, this is Lindsay. So I'm going to do um, a little bit of a haul of stuff I'm bringing with me to Spain. And I don't want you to think that like all I do is hauls because I don't. It's just that I really need to get a bunch of stuff because I am going to be in a foreign country. So it's important that I have things no matter what. Because, you know, no matter what thing, that, like something is going to happen. You just It's just what it is with traveling. So you just have to be prepared for anything. So yeah. I hope you like it. Um, it's just some good ideas really with anything for travel. And some of it's fun. And then part two video will be like some things I recommend for um, your toiletry. So yeah. Enjoy. Okay. First I got these um, fun glasses. Um, these were actually gifted by a friend of my mother's. And they were, so they were free obviously. And otherwise these glasses would be worth no more than like five bucks. If that. I mean they're plastic glasses. I just think they're kind of funky looking. Um... They're just kind of cool, you know, they're different, so they're really good. I don't want to bring any, you know, expensive sunglasses to Spain. And then, for the plane ride, I got a really nice, like, neck pillow. And it's really good because it's going to be a really long plane ride. And it's just, if I, like, my neck hurts or whatever and I want to sleep so I don't get jet lag, you know, just put it on my neck and it's just very, very comfy and just really, like, just it'll help me sleep a little bit. Yeah, that's always good. A ton of gum. It's not it got this much packs of them. All Orbit. It means it's never kind of going to be like, but I just like Orbit. It's the easiest thing to get. And it's good, and especially for plane rides, because your ears will pop. So it's important. You chew your gum. This, like, eye mask thing. Um, it's falling. It's really soft. And you just put it over your eyes. Just like that. Or, you know, whatever. The head burned. So yeah, um, it's just really comfy. It's great, you know, for sleeping. If it's light out, whatever, you know, I'm so not used to the hours. It's just good to sleep on. And Target was having a really good sale, so that is why I got a lot of books. So yeah, first I had to get my Lauren Connor book, and as you can see, it was thirty percent off. So yeah, um, it's really good. Um, I wouldn't say this is like the best book ever. I kind of just like, I'm a really big Lauren Conrad fan. This is more the book if you love Lauren Conrad. Otherwise it's, you wouldn't like it. And it's just like a bunch of pictures of her, you know, looking pretty. It has some really good makeup tips and some hair tips like The Perfect Waves. So I can show you guys how to do that. Um, and then it has like this really nice sleek ponytail. Y'all know me, I love my ponytails. So it'll be fun. And then it has some like, makeup tips and everything. You know. Just like that. So, Empire Diaries book. Um, this is books three and four. It's The Fairy and The Dark Reunion. Um, they're combined into one. I read the first two one, I read the first two books and I like them, so I wanted to keep reading them. And I just want to warn you, like, disclaimer, they're so much different from the TV shows. They, ca they have the same character names. Actually, not even, because they, they're missing out some of the character names, like Meredith. So, she's not in there. And a lot of the characters don't even look the same, so, like, that they're described in there. But personally, I don't really mind that much, just because I love the TV show so much, and I love just how they do it, that it, like, I feel like the books and the TV show are completely different, two different entities. And if they were more similar, then you're just constantly comparing them. And it's just... You know what's going to happen. It's not going to be as good. And with the TV show, you need to have constantly new plot lines. It's not like a movie where it's just like one whole thing. It's like every week is another story, another story, another story. It can't always be like the books. It's like there's only so many. So I like what they're doing. I love Nina DeBrev. I love Paul Wesley. I love Ian Summerholder. So I think it's great. <laughs> um, New York Times bestseller, Firefly Lane. Um, it's by Kristen Hanna. I read a, another really good book by her. Um like me on the name, but it was a really, really good book. It was just about, like, um, a bunch of sisters and, like, growing up together and, like, different conflicts between the national bestseller, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and this is supposed to be amazing, so I'm really, really excited. Everyone I know who read this is in love with it, and I can't wait to read it, so. Yeah. And I also got a bunch of hair ties. I got an Embark converter and adapter plug set because in Europe, um, they have completely different wires and everything, so it's going to, like, fuse the whole, like, hotel rooms if you use, you plug in all your wires for your cameras and your phones and everything else, so you need. So I got a new digital camera. It's by Canon. It's the PowerShot Elf 100HS. 
it was $200. And considering how much, like, good the quality is, I think it's really good for the price because it has HD video on here. It takes really crisp pictures. It has all these different settings, and I'm really excited. And, I, oh my god, I have to, like, open this for you guys. Like, you have to see the color. It's honestly so cool. This is the first time I'm opening it, too. pink do you see that like how wide that screen is that is just huge like I love that screen and just, it's so pretty I just love this color like honestly this just stands out like I could have got the silver color which I like too and I thought it was really pretty but when I saw this I was just like I can't like resist this this is so cute oh man yeah it's actually trying to turn it on but <laughs> it has no battery, so, like, what am I doing? But, yeah, um, it is absolutely beautiful. So, I'm so excited to bring this. I'm going to have so much fun with this. I'm going to take a million and one pictures. To Nordstrom Rack, and I got these really nice pair of juicy sweatpants. And they say, prep it up, juicy couture. And they're just the velour sweatpants. They're gray. They're just really comfy. They're in the size small. Um, and they were really good, they were really, like, they were on sale, and they were good. Um, the original price is $110, which is insane to me. I can't believe that people actually buy full price in Juicy Sweatpants. I think that is way too much money. That's just crazy to me. And I got it for $39.97, which still is a lot of money, but that's significantly, like, less. Like, that is just amazing to me. So, I love them. They're so soft. They're very well made. I can't wait to wear them. When, like, I'm, I think I'm going to wear them on the plane just because it's very really comfy and I'm just, I love them. They're so soft. The container store. Um, I got this, like, jewelry thing. Um, like you can put, like, your necklaces and stuff here and you could put some more, like, things in here, like earrings or bracelets or more necklaces. Um, this is, like, pouch, like, where you could put your earrings in. You don't, you can't see the holes, but you stick them through the holes. And then, um, and then it also opens up. Like that. So it's just really cute. It looks almost like a wallet. And it's really good. So you, I'm trying my best not to get my jewelry tangled because I'm going to try to bring a lot of jewelry because that's really going to spice up my outfits. So yeah, I hope this helps a little bit about any. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But what ifs? Yeah, and I'm really excited about this camera. I'm definitely going to give you guys reviews about it after I come back from Spain tell you all the camera qualities and everything and how amazing it is and how you should all get it too. Okay? Okay. Hasta luego, mis amigos.